guys, the Jace Dog here, and welcome back to another episode of Rugby League Life 4 on the channel. That's right, guys, this is episode number 7 of our Rugby League Life 4 Fullback Challenge Series. That's right, guys, this is the Position Challenge Series. So, with that being said, guys, it is episode number 7 on our way. We are currently at round number 7. We'll be playing round number 7 and 8 in this episode. So, of course, we are going to be going up against the Eels and the Bulldogs in this episode, guys. We're currently sitting at 8th position on the ladder with 3 wins and 3 losses. Not too bad, you know. We're holding in there for a team of fullbacks, guys. If you haven't seen any of the other episodes, I highly recommend going and checking it out. There is a playlist on the channel, which you can go and check out all of the previous episodes, as well as the most recent previous episode will be linked in the description down below, as well as all the other unboxings and sports games that we are currently doing on the channel their most recent episodes linked in the description down below so guys if you are enjoying this series and you are enjoying what you watch on the channel make sure you hit that like button hard but not too hard guys because you will break your computers guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button to join the dog squad and tick the little bell to become part of the notification dog squad if you want to follow me on any social medias i have facebook instagram snapchat twitter and twitch they're all linked in the description down below and guys, let's get a minimum of 10 likes on this video right here, right now, right up in your face to show support for the game, the series, and the channel as a whole. But guys, if you are new to the channel and you do not know what a fullback challenge series is, that is in the position challenge series, as no other YouTubers do this thing on YouTube because I pretty much came up with it, which is awesome. But guys, like I said, it's kind of like a rebuild, but it's not a rebuild. So... the the gist of it is, is that I grabbed fullbacks from every team in the first grade and we pieced it together. Uh, we've got 16 players from the actual 16 teams in that, like 2018 in real life. So for example, Tedesco's playing at fullback for the Roosters. Uh, you've got Inglis playing at fullback for the Rabbitohs and stuff like that. All pretty much the way it's meant to be. And then of course we grabbed just extras from like the reserves and backup fullbacks. Stuff like that. But guys, our lineup is looking like this. We have to work well together to try and get them to the grand final and get that win. Can this challenge be a success? Guys, I also want to let you know that I am taking, like, I'll, I'll probably do a poll sometime soon on Twitter, maybe even in the comment section eventually on, like, one of these episodes later on down the track. But the three ones that I'm thinking about doing next for the position challenge series will be either the winger challenge series, the hooker challenge series, or the prop challenge series. So guys, any of those ones that you would like to see, let me know in the comments down below. But our team is looking like this at the moment. Of course, we got Slater out for 14 days. Gunferson is out for 116 days injured as well. Uh, Ponga will be coming back after the match against the Eels. Uh, I think I'm gonna put him on the bench when he comes back because Roberts is doing pretty damn well at hooker. And yeah just because Ponga hasn't really been doing the best in the hooker position, but that is okay. We got Tedesco, Holmes, Inglis, Dugan, Boyd, Mumbai, Lola here, Gordon, Roberts, Tuvasashek, Trovojevic, Whiten, and Coot is our lineup. And of course, we got the bench, which we'll see when we get in. But the last games in the last episode, guys, we lost against the Dragons, 12 to six, and we beat the, Ra uh, the not the Rabbitohs, the Cowboys, seven nil. So we're going to go into this one against the Eels. We're 8th, they're 15th. Hopefully we can get this one going pretty damn well, guys. But like I said, if you are enjoying this, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And guys, without further ado, it is time to get into episode number 7 of the Fullback Challenge series. Let's do this, guys. Okay, guys, here we go. ANZ Stadium, it is the Eels versus the Fullback Challenge series team. Who will win? We're gonna find out here, guys. Here's the lineup. Of course, I went through the main 13, but we're gonna see who's on the bench as well. Inglis is being captain, taking over for Slater, because Slater's out injured. Okay, our bench is looking like Puade, French, Edwards, and Dufty. That is what our bench is looking like, guys. This is gonna be awesome. Let's get into it, guys, because this, it's been a while. Like I said in yesterday's videos, guys, well, in the, um, the Where Have I Been channel update video. It's been at least two or so weeks since we've uploaded anything to the channel. And we're looking to get right back into it. 
So let's do this, guys. Might be a little bit rusty in this first match because I haven't played too much of the Rugby League Live 4 for a while. But I'll get back into it after probably like one game. Hopefully. <laughs> if not, we'll take a couple of L's in this episode, but it's all right. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, ooh. Okay, he's going to be a little sneaky sneaky, eh? little sneaky snake. Okay, come on, boys. Nice work from Leather here. Taking him down. No, you're, going, you're not going anywhere, Josh Hoffman. Not going anywhere indeed. Good work, boys. Good work. Coot has been impressive in this lineup, guys, as well as Slater. Like, there's been a lot of standout superstars. Well, not superstars, but, like, I guess you can say superstars in the NRL. But, like, a lot of standout players in this series. So I'm very happy with how they've all been going. Okay, come on, boys. Okay, Boyd gets it. Gets us just over the tw uh, over the 10, but it's okay. You know, we can bounce back from that. Okay, I'm slowly getting back into knowing exactly everything about it. Like, it's it's not really that hard to know exactly what you're doing in this game. Too fast to check, gone. Oh, no. Ooh. Go, go, who's that? Tedesco, Tedesco. He's gone. Tedesco gets a try. It is on Pro Difficulty, guys. If you do not believe me, I will show you right now. As you can see, it's on Difficulty Pro. I don't play on anything but that. And Tedesco gets a try. That was awesome. I'm trying to teach my, like, the like the muscle memory to pass more than just one pass run. So I'm trying to get back in, like, get to the point where I'm passing multiple times every now and then. It's just sometimes it's more effective in a way to, you know, pass it and then try and push yourself through. But we're going to try and start, hopefully in this episode, in the next episode, trying to get used to passing more often the ball. The Hustlers. 6-0 already. Tedesco and Lola here. You know, we got a former Tiger there and a current Tiger. The former fullback and the current fullback. But this is going to be sweet. And of course, Moses, another former Tiger. This Tiger's galore up in here. Okay, come on, boys. Tedesco here again. Oh, come on. Oh. Unlucky. I was trying to pass it off to stand a little... Little pass right there, but it didn't. It didn't end up working. Oh. Okay. That's a zero. That's good for us. That was very good for us, actually. Oh, look at that. White, and I believe that was straight to Dugan. Set him straight up for a great little run there. We're running over the eels right now. Nice little throw inwards. Good work, boys. Good work. We're going heaps well, actually. Okay, that was not going to go anywhere anyway. Come on, boys. Run the ball. Damn. Unfortunate. Yes, we are. Oh, and we're in a perfect position right now for a field goal. Perfect for a field goal. And it's a field goal. 7 0. Tedesco, by the looks of it, has scored a field goal as well. Jesus Louise, there we go. He is one of the playmakers, him and Mbai. So, here we go. Find out what's going to happen. If we can score some more. Currently in the lead, 7 0. I'm not going to complain about that. Eels are on the like, second last, so it is kind of like a little bit, uh, you know, not really something to jump around to, but I'm very happy with my performance considering I haven't played this game in at least two weeks, or maybe even more actually, for playing this game. And that's something that I rarely do. I usually always play this game, so it's good to get back into it. Okay, come on, boys. Run it. No one's out there anyway, so luckily I didn't pass. That was actually very lucky. I was going to throw it out to the wing, and no one was actually even there. French, come on. Oh, damn. Okay, let's go for the kick. Let's go for the kick. Oh, okay. No idea what the hell happened there. That just backfired on us. That's right. That's why we went for that field goal, guys. That's why we went for the field goal. 
But guys, if you are pumped to see more Rugby League Live 4 on the channel, whether it's, of course, our fullback challenge series, the other position challenge series we will be doing in the future, or the player career mode, of course, of the Jace Dog, let me know in the comments down below. We've got some awesome stuff in the works for other games as well that are all sports related. So hopefully you're all going to be enjoying that. Okay, there he's held up. Oh no! Ooh, that was so lucky. You know, I went for the tackle and it just instantly just like, oh, he went for a kick. Nope, I did not. I wasn't ready for the the little parish there, but it's all right. It's all right. We can get out of this this pickle right here. Nice little run from French, getting us out of that area. See, I'll pass it every now and then. It's just my playing style is I actually enjoy playing it a little bit more like the way I play it. But English is gone. English is gone. No one is stopping big boy English as he gets a try right under the post. There we go. 11-0. English getting a great run right there. No one was stopping him. The fullback dived and just kind of gave up. Held, yes. It's, see, I wasn't sure whether or not to pass it or not because the, uh, the the fullback was kind of on my tail. But then again, he decided to do a dive. And as soon as I saw him do the dive and miss, I was like, yep, bye. See you, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> but here we go, 13-0. And it's about to be half time. The fullbacks are doing a wonderful job. Because like I said, this is only episode number seven. And we've only just brought this back to the channel, like I said yesterday, guys. We had our Where Have I Been slash channel update video go up yesterday, as well as the January Pro Wrestling Crate. That went up as well. And then today, we of course have episode 7 of our Rugby League Live 4 Fullback Challenge Series, as you can see. That's what we're playing. And of course, to, uh, later on today, we should have an unboxing, guys. It's another NRL-related thing. It is the NRL 2017 Elite Trading Cards. That's right, guys. If you haven't seen that, when it comes out, I highly recommend going and checking that out because it is very, very, very cool. And I'm hoping to... I, I don't know if I'll get all of them. I bought two boxes of the Elites, so I don't know if I'm going to get them all done before um, the traders come out, guys, but I'll still finish those two boxes on the channel before, of course, the traders do come out. Well, hope, or just after they come out, we'll probably finish it up. And then you'll have your, you know, your traders. Nice little step and then throw over his head. Pretty nice indeed. Come on, boys. Damn, I was trying to pass there. It's all right, though. We are in the lead right now. The fullback, okay. <laughs> just hit him hard right there. But yeah, the fullback challenge series team is doing very well in this match. Like I said, we need that win. Okay, maybe I should have went for a different kick. I'll go for a different. I was doing A. No, no, A. Um, X. I should probably try and do like circle or tr square probably. Because that's twice that I've went for a kick like that and it's just not really worked. Oh, Kenny Edwards, is that my team? No, it's their team. Okay, good. I was about to say. We do have an Edwards on our team, which is Dylan Edwards. So, I was kind of thinking, uh, that's one of our players again. Great, another injury, but it's not. So, it's all good. It's all good. Get in, boys. They're knocking on our door. They are knocking on our door. He's going to get it. Caught it in goal. There we go. 20 we go. Oh, Coot gets hit hard. But it's okay. It is okay. Ah, oh, come on, boys. See, if I can get past the step, then we should be right. English couldn't even get past him. Damn, okay. They're putting a lot of strength on us right now, so... Oh, we're just getting laid out right now. Eels in the defense is just non-stop. Oh, okay. That was a little bit unprofessional, but it's all right. It's all right, boys. Here we go. 
Oh, come on, get him. Okay, good work. Oh, no, someone get him. Someone get him. Good work, boys. Try saving right there. Damn, they got a try. Okay. Manu getting the try. 13 to 4. Feels a bounce on back. But can they get the kick? Will Moses do it? Probably will. Yeah. Okay, there we go. 13 to 6. Come on, fullbacks. Hold in there. We know you're getting a bit tired, but you got to hold in. We can't let this get to that point where we're struggling. Okay, come on, boys. Here we go. Good work, boys. Good work. Of course, Gordon came back from suspension, I believe, so that's good to have him back. That could have been a head high, too. Thank God he passed that and it didn't read it as a head high. Lucky. Oh, come on. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, come on. He was so close. Almost. Okay. Over the halfway line. Let's go for another try. Let's go. Little throw from Dugan right there. They weren't expecting that. Oh, okay. They're hitting us now. They are hitting us. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Ten minutes left on the clock. Either way, if they score a try, we still they still have to get a little bit more on us. Okay, good work, Moses. Good work. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay. Maybe not. I thought Lola here was going to pick that up, but he didn't. He didn't pick it up, unfortunately. But they ended up making a bit of a dog's breakfast off it. Yes, it was a dog's breakfast, mate. It was a dog's breakfast indeed. Norman, also, guys, if you do love NRL like I know most of you do, which, of course, I do as well, and, of course, you can tell that I love unboxing NRL trading cards because I do the traders, the power play slash extremes, and the now I'm doing the elites, and, of course, we got the traders coming out this year um, very soon. Kicks it along. So if you like all that guys, stay tuned because we will have some vintage NRL trading cards on the channel in the near week or so. Probably like a week or so we'll have an episode or a couple episodes of some vintage cards. I've got a lot of awesome vintage stuff guys so stay tuned for that. Follow me on Instagram at the Dog guys if you haven't already and you will get a little sneak peek of what that vintage type of cards are before I upload it to YouTube. I'm not going to show you what I've got, but I'll show you the package and be like, yeah, we've got this, guys. Let's come to the channel. But there we go. The fullbacks get the win over the Eels, 13 to 6. That was a good one. Man, the match goes to Tedesco, of course, getting his own try and his field goal. Lola here getting both the kicks, and, of course, Inglis getting a try as well. That was a very good one to start this episode, guys. We are back now. Let's fast forward it. Of course, we're going in to round number eight against the Bulldogs. Ponga should be back, but he's not. Okay, so he's he's still out for a little bit longer, which is very weird. Like, I guess he has to wait until after because we have to do our suggestions. But I think we're good with the team that we have right now. The bench isn't looking too strong, but the onside running team is pretty well. So we're going to click that right there. Of course, Ponga will be back in the next episode, so that will be cool for him. Slater will hopefully be back in the next episode towards the second game, probably, I'd say. But we are going in at fifth place right now against the 11th place Bulldogs. There we are looking right That That's the ladder. So we got the Cowboys. We gave them their first loss recently too, so that was pretty sweet. But Cowboys and Panthers tied on first place, and then Broncos literally right behind them and then Raiders and ourselves. So if we can get this win, we should take over the Raiders, which will be very, very good, of course. So, that being said, guys, it's the second match of this episode. I do two matches per episode, if you don't know that already, guys. But let's go right into the second match of this episode, and hopefully we can get another win. Let's do this, guys. Hey, guys, ANZ Stadium again. It is the Fullback Challenge Series team against the Bulldogs. Let's do this. Round number eight, episode number seven. 
Don't need to show the lineup of our team either in this one because there's no changes. But let's go. Let's go. Reynolds now in the Tigers. So it's interesting to see him in the blue, of course, in this game because eventually, you know, he'll be wearing the... Well, he actually already is wearing our colours, the Tigers colours, but here we go, guys. Oh, go, boys, go. Had to get a little nice little run for start. Hey, come on, boys, let's go. If you're a betting man, you'd be well placed nice little run there. Of the underdogs. A lot of tries, the order of the day. Of we want some points. tries in this episode. Good side we're about to see. Oh, oh, hit him hard. Laid him down for the count. Okay. See, that's why I don't always pass all the time, guys, because I feel like I can do a lot more meters and gains with just... Oh, go Lola here. Oh, no. He just got a lot of meters. I, could, I probably could have passed it just there. For but it's right. Oh, come on. Damn. I, I was switching to that player and then that happened. Ah, well. Right in front of the goal. That sucks. We could have had a try right there, but it's okay. We got plenty of time in this episode, guys. Well, in this match. To go for the goal. But yeah guys, I want to let you know, if you haven't seen it, yesterday's video, of course, of the channel update video, we are pretty much sticking with more as a sports gaming channel and a unboxing channel. So you'll get your unboxings every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And of course, a sports game at least once a day. Some days even twice, some days even three times if you're lucky. But the main thing is that I want to try and do is two uploads every single day. Some days there might be free uploads, and of course there might be a stream here and there, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys, if you haven't already. It's well worth it. Of course, FIFA 18, NBA 2K18, WWE 2K18, oh, ran into that. And of course, Rugby League Live 4, Rugby 18, and a bunch of other awesome stuff currently being on the channel. NBA hasn't hit the channel just yet, but it will be. Of course, UFC 3. If you watched the video that I said uh, did yesterday, guys, you'll know that with UFC 3, we're going to be doing... Let's go for a field goal. Let's try. Let's try. And... Ah, oh, it's all right. Caught it in goal, though. But yeah, as I was saying, guys, uh, with UFC 3, I plan on doing a My Player Career Mode, so that is going to be cool. So hopefully you're keen for that, guys. So, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm putting it in the sports category like WWE. The, the WWE 2K18, my career mode of the Jace Dog. Of course, I might still be doing like other things that I've got planned for WWE's 2K18, which is awesome. Of course, we'll continue with that. Kurt Hawkins thing, maybe. I'm not sure. We might. Oh, jeez. He's getting away. But yeah, definitely having fun in this um this episode series, guys. I hope you all are enjoying it just as much as I am. Ooh, damn, Bulldogs. Giving us a little run for our money right here. Putting us in a bit of a danger zone. Knock on from them. Our ball. We get the ball. Hop away, come on. Damn, all right. It's all good. It's all good. Oh no, damn. Unfortunately from Holmes, that wasn't what we needed. But yeah guys, we've got plenty of sports games. Let's Plays won't be fully gone from the channel either. Uh, Let's Plays will still come every now and then. There just won't be so many Let's Plays. Of course, with Let's Plays, I'm only going to be doing Let's Plays of games I want to do. We'll have Fortnite on the channel regularly, like the Battle Royale. New DLC challenges and stuff like that, guys. As well as Dead by Daylight, Friday the 13th, and a lot, lot more. So hopefully you're keen for that, guys. Because I know I am. Okay, I went for the kick. <laughs> I just ran. Okay. That, 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 that ended up going well. But it's alright, though. We still have a good chance. Come on, boys. We don't want to go into this episode. We had three wins, three losses. Now we're sitting at four wins, three losses. We would like to go in to the next episode with five wins, preferably, because that would be very good for the fullbacks. Okay, come on, boys. Come on. 
Got to do 15 more tackles, and then we get that added on um, challenge done, which is very cool. See? Oh, who was that? That was French. That was French. They're going to go for the two points. I would have went for the two points. French, he's off the bench, so... <laughs> French the bench, you know. But he's off the bench, so it's okay. He can go straight into the reserves, because he's probably going to get suspended. I'll probably just take whatever plea. It was, it was pretty reasonable. Overhead high. But let's get in and hopefully do well. We've done pretty well in the first match, so hopefully this match will be the same. Come on, boys. Let's go, let's go. Literally, oh, nice, he dropped the ball. He dropped it. Very, very nice. Okay, come on, boys. Come on. Let's go, let's go. We can do this. Maybe not. I tried to pass it, and it just didn't work. Grab me before I could pass. It's all right, though. Half time, 2 0. It's not that bad of a situation right now, guys. We're kicking to them, so hopefully we can make them drop the ball. It's very, very shady in the arena right now. Okay, good. Put them right on their 10. I thought that ball was going out, to tell you the truth. I thought it was going out. Oh, no. Come on. Good work, boys. Good work. I might even continue with our West Tigers crew mode 2 eventually too, guys. So stay tuned for that. Might have that come back to the channel. Not as regularly, of course, because the fullback challenge series and all the other challenge series that we'll be doing will be one of the main things out of Rugby League Live 4 on the channel, as well as our My Player crew mode. Come on, boys. Get him. We don't want them scoring a try, because if they score a try then we've got to score at least two to catch them. Nice, good work. Good work, boys. Nice little catch there. Okay, come on. Need to go back to my old tactics of kind of just pass and run. Because it does work. See, there we go. Look at that. We just got a little bit of a run right there. Even though I should be doing, like, trying to do the, um, the technique of passing it more, but it just doesn't work as much sometimes for me. It's just not my type of technique, if you know what I mean, guys. But, come on, boys. Oh, come on. Already fifth and last. you got to be kidding me. Already. Jesus. Right up in here. There we go. We finally get a proper kick. Take him down straight away. There we go. That was a that was a beastie kick. Okay, come on, boys, hold them up. Let's go over. They're only in the lead by two. There we go. We completed the 35 tackles. Nice work, boys. Nice work. Holding them up. Don't let them through. Okay, come on, boys. Let's get this win. We've already got one win in this episode. Take him out. Oh, damn. I was hoping to pull him out there, but it didn't end up working. Oh. It bounced out. We just left that. That was going out. Out 20. There we go. Now it's got the sun out again. About time. Oh, two vast to check, getting past two people. See, guys, that's why it's so good. I'm, I'm beast at, like, run it like that. Oh, until that happens, of course. You just get hits hard. Big impact tackle. Come on, boys. Coots, got to be careful. You gotta, we don't win him getting injured right now. Definitely not. Especially with Slater currently out on the um, injury bench already himself. Oh, who was that? Hopper Wade, another bench runner. Damn, another bench runner getting it. Okay, good. They didn't go for the um, for the four point. They decided that they want to go for a tackle. I mean, not for a tackle, for a try attempt. Come on, knock the ball on. Come on, boys. 
will have to play the ball after that tackle. Lays it off. Reynolds. Ben Boozles. Come on. No. Damn. Brett Morris goes over. Damn. What happened in this one? What happened in this match? The first match was perfect. Like, we let one try through. Fair enough. But, like, 13 to 6 was pretty damn sweet. And now, of course, we're going into this one and it's no, right looking like it's 8 0. We got to get two tries if we want to try and win. So we need to start playing properly. The boys have been hitting head eyes in this episode, so they need to stop. They need to stop, guys. But I am so keen to be doing a lot more awesome stuff on the channel. So hopefully, you all are keen to see it. Of course, like I said, two minimum uploads every single day a sport video and a unboxing. And then, of course, on Mondays and Wednesdays, there will be no unboxings, in which case we'll do, like, either a second sports game. It'll be, like, maybe Dead by Daylight, Fortnite, Friday the 13th, whatever. You know, just awesome, funny moment videos. Or even a Let's Play. Who knows? And, of course, it's not always going to be two videos a day, guys. You will get video uh, days where you get, like, three videos a day. So it's going to be very sweet for you all. Won't be like that all the time, though. It'll just be occasionally, you know, you get a, a third video every now and then, so it's just an extra added goodie. Go! Go! Oh, Gordon! Thank God! Thank God for Gordon. Yes! No! French almost goes over. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. We've lost this match. Th this match is done. So we started this episode at three wins, three losses. We go into the next episode with four wins, four losses. So, oh well, and we're gonna have to be down two bench runners. Probably French and Hopper Wade probably gonna be getting put out for a little bit. Oh, and there goes French again. French hits another head eye. I think French has gone on for a long time. Unfortunately for him. But Ponga comes back, so all we really have to do is replace one player. So it's not too bad there, guys. But unfortunate for the fullback challenge series team. We got two of those completed, so that was sweet. We only had two more to do. Oh, that's two more in our career, so sweet. But man of the match goes to Garve. But let's go back and find out what we're going to be doing for the next episode, guys. So we are now back. Of course, like I said, Ponga is finally finished. But Vevin French has been charged with a grade one careless high tackle. One match penalty found guilty. We'll take that guilty plea because that one that was the first one that was definitely in my opinion yeah um hopper wade one match careless high tackle one uh, grade one so we'll take that guilty plea it's only one and then of course bevan french's second one charged with a grade two reckless high tackle two match penalty if found guilty we will i'll dispute that last one Oh, you got one match. Okay, so Bevan's gone for two at least. So it says one there, but he'll probably be there for at least two ones. So, of course, two. Hoppawade there for one as well. Damn, okay. But they're, they're both on the bench, so we can easily replace those. So we're going to go into, of course, round number nine against the Sharks in the next episode. We're versing the Sharks and the Rabbitohs. Currently sitting at fifth place on the ladder, tied with the Raiders and the Bulldogs. And, of course, the Sharks, Seagulls, and Dragons as well. So that is very interesting. So we're going to go and choose our lineup. Of course, we have to change our bench. So we've got Hopper Wade, we'll put Ponga on there. And then French. Damn, look at that. We've got a fair amount there. Um, let's grab... Let's give Feeney a go. Let's give Feeney a go, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go with Feeney. Let's see how we go with that. But that is the look for our team. In this one, I'm, I'm going to leave Roberts on the field instead of putting Ponga back on. For the main reason that Roberts is doing very well in the hooker position, guys. Of course, they're both finished now. Okay, so Bevan, you know, he was hit with two things that he was, you know, meant to be out for at least two matches. But they're like, nah, you know, one match, you can come back. So when we go against the Rabbitohs, we can bring back French and Hopawade. So that is going to be cool, guys. Sixth place versus eighth place to start the next episode. But guys... If you have enjoyed episode number 7 of our Rugby League Life 4 
position challenge series. This is the fullback challenge series. Guys, if you have enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button hard, but not too hard, guys, because you will break your computers. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the dog squad and spread the word of the Jace Dog to everybody you know. Click that little bell as well, guys, when you're subscribing so you can compile up the notification dog squad and you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video to the YouTube or I go live on the channel. Guys, if you want to follow me on any social medias, I have Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Twitch. They're all linked in the description down below. And guys, let's get a minimum of 10 likes on this video right here, right now, right up in your face to show your support for the game, the series, and the channel as a whole. Don't forget to go and check out the unboxing that will be up later on today, guys. It is a NRL unboxing, so highly recommend if you like watching this type of game on the channel, go and watch that unboxing because it's NRL goodness. But guys... This was episode number seven. Episode number eight, I'm hoping to have up by probably Monday because I have some other stuff coming to the channel over the weekend, of course. I'm planning on having either the first episode of UFC free on the channel, as well as like my career mode of the Jace Dog, and of course, the finale of our Rugby 18 International Tournament for the Australian Wallabies. So guys, like I said, it is great to be back. Second day on the job again <laughs> on the YouTube grind. But I am loving bringing the content back to you all. Hopefully you all are enjoying it, guys. Like I said, if you are, hit that like button and that subscribe button. But as always, stay awesome. The Jace Dog is out of here. See you.